Alright, you alright guys and girls, welcome back. So, I just thought I'd put this out here. It's just today, some news in the psychic medium world. One, we've just lost one of our favourite psychics of all time. One of the, the best, most entertaining sort of psychics we've known. And we've been brought up watching him on Most Haunted. Absolutely really sad uh, for him to go and... Uh, all our love and stuff goes out to his family and all that kind of stuff. But, um, yeah, Derek Acora, today, as, I don't know if it's today, it says 11 hours ago, so it says, uh, what it says, television medium and psychic Derek Acora has died aged 69. Now, I don't know if this is true or not, or if someone's putting it out there. I mean, it's in, where is it at the moment? It's in the BBC News. I will put some links in the description below so you guys and girls can check it out. Because uh, you do hear some about deep fakes and all that kind of stuff. People faking their deaths. But I think this might be genuine itself. Genuine. And if it is genuine, then um, yeah, absolutely sad for one of the best sort of psychics out there. I mean, we've got Colin Fry. He's, he's a great one. Um, psychic. Um We've got this, uh, oh, I've got his name now. There's quite a few psych great psychics that they've got Psychic Sally, aren't we, as well? She's great, and she? she does her, her, her psychic stuff. But now we've lost Derek Okora out there. Uh, TV medium uh, dies age at 69. That's nothing. That's a really, really young age. Um, I mean, he's actually most famous for his television appearances of Most Haunted. <coughs> Yeah, Most Haunted, uh, with Yvette Fielding and Carl Fielding as well, uh, his, um, her husband, Yvette Fielding's husband. Uh, great shows though, and he used to do a lot of like the entertaining side of it. I mean, even the, like putting everything else aside, his like medium stuff and all that, I thought he was great at doing his voices and all that psychics voices of spirits entering his body and all that. Whether he was a true psychic or whether it was sort of just entertainment. I actually thought he was absolutely amazing. I thought the voices were different and they always like sort of made me laugh and made me cheer. When he used to scream at and shout and go like sort of Bob, Bob or Fred, oh Fred was here and all that with us. He's here, Fred, and he's doing scream and all. He used to put like these Scottish accents and different accents on. Absolutely hilarious and funny as hell. But he's definitely going to be truly missed in the psychic world. Um, it says here, yeah, um, Gwen Acora Johnson said, uh, said her beloved husband had passed away after a very brief illness. She announced his death on his official Facebook page. So it's official. On his official uh, Facebook page. So it must be true. Um, adding, farewell my love. I will miss you forever. Sad. That is really sad guys and girls. Absolutely lost a legend. Psychic in the world. Akora was best known for living TV's most haunted reality TV series that followed a team of paranormal experts as they investigated haunted locations. Most Haunted ran from 2002, 2002 to 2010, although it returned in an online edition on reality TV at various times into 2019. Akora departed as the show guest medium after six services in 2005 uh, over claims of fakery so basically he got called fake and all that kind of stuff and just left on his own terms and all that a uh, cora who was born derek johnson in Bootle, merseyside made a cameo appearance in the 2006 doctor who episode army of ghosts and entered the celebrity big brother house in 2017 finishing in fourth place he was banned from driving for more than two years in 2014 when he admitted to careless driving and failing to provide a further breath test following a car crash in addition to a 28th month ban Akura received a 1000 